in the last episode of Day in the Dream. I explained to you all the hard problems that I am facing in this particular time of my life. From mental talk to financial stress, I openly and honestly talk about what's been going on with both. With everything that's been going on, I take it as a series of lessons I was supposed to learn before I get to be where I want to be. Questioning God because of all the struggling that is going on, I get it together to go even deeper about my current money stress. Also, don't worry, next time I get this real, I'll make sure we go deeper, deeper into the mind of day. What's up everyone? Okay, so right now it is currently 2.58 and it is Saturday, November 6th. I'm just wanted to give you guys an update, another, this one's gonna be a quick, a quick mental update, I promise. Yeah, I'm a little depressed here and there, you know, about things. Not really depressed, just bored. I'm not gonna say depressed, I'm gonna say bored. I'm very much bored. You know, over this week, I've been getting back to myself where I feel like I'm going, I'm finally going back to me you know what I mean I'm starting like to be myself again but like the best parts of myself and you know through watching all of the other episodes I realized that a lot of my problems go back deeper and before California because I like to blame a lot of things on California and I've just been contradicting myself on a lot of different topics throughout the episodes yeah I've been doing a lot better but I do have good news as far as that job that new job that I got moved around from through the the top the, the temp agency the pay went up from 17 to 18 so that's good news I also get $120 from the same job at the end of every month I went in there it's very chill and laid back so that's just like a good overall vibe you know I got a good vibe my life is shit right I'm gonna always be struggling I'm going to never have anything. I'm going to always be in a life of lack. Mm -hmm. Because I don't sow a seed to you. And I thank God, whoever he they had, it was a dark, it, to me it was a dark shadow because it was dark in my room. Mm -hmm. You know, but when he said wake up, it didn't scare me to the point that I thought it was a demon. Because mm -hmm. I don't know a demon. Mm -hmm. It was like, it was a dark figure and he was just so, I felt he was like kind. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And like he was sent to say just, wake up. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't no whispering. It, there wasn't no demonic feeling. But I thought he was saying, get up, get on the computer and do your work. People like her mm -hmm. and people, we are like powerful with words. Mm -hmm. You know, we can curse a person and we can bless a person easily. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm fighting with all I got to bless us and bring us up out of mm -hmm. this life of that and then here's somebody that's got a higher level, uh, a higher level of consciousness than I do, mm -hmm. If fighting against me, mm. it's kind of hard for me to break out of that. Mm. What you guys heard was no surprise to me, but very much a surprise to my mom. Now, I'm not going to say this person or who, whom it is. They've been a part of our life. Well, were, anyway, you know, back in the, J the Jefferson, Georgia time, you know. I'm not going to describe who's who and who's doing what now because it'll just be a dead giveaway, especially if that person's famous. And this person is doing great things and I don't want to, you know, say what their mom is doing, you know. You know, roots are very much a real thing. I don't know who believes in roots and who doesn't, but let me tell you guys, whether you believe it or not, universal roots or just which roots or, you know, the or roots in general, whatever you want to, you know, say it as, or call it, that it's very much real. This person is saying because you stop giving me money, you know, and building up this kingdom, you're going to be causing death on yourself. You're supposed to be like, you know, giving the money and sowing the seed to like build up God's kingdom. And then because my mom didn't have the money because things started falling apart, she couldn't give. So she was like, God, if I need to be sown a seed, give me the money. God did not give her the money for her to go sow a seed to somebody. And that, I guess, was a sign. I personally 
was very standoffish when it came to this person because I just sensed something. Like, I would try to, like, you know, because I was young at the time, I would try to, like, maybe, let me just shimmy through it. Maybe it's just me. But no, I was correct because I've always thought my premonition was my strongest suit. It is not. Intuition is my strongest ability. The thing about me and my mom is we speak, when we talk, we talk saying stuff, but our subconscious knows what's up before our profound soul cortex, you know, like the main, our main brain really knows what's going on. Our subconscious knows because that subconscious is our intuition, which is God and or the universe, whomever you believe in, knows. And then it's up to us to listen to either get it in that moment or maybe a little bit later down the road. For us, it was a little bit later down the road. I learned a lot of things that I needed to learn. I'm, you know, trying to get back into changing. I have been slipping a little bit with the, with my attitude a little bit and gotta watch what I listen to. And yeah, I just want to give you guys like a little update. Um, root, very much real. Right now it is currently December 9th, 2021, and it's 15 days before my birthday. Um, you know, in the last clip, I basically talked about, like, how much I've been slipping, and that's because I've been, you know, listening to the wrong music. I stopped listening to Outwitting the Devil. And, um, the, but I really want to take this month to get back into it. So, up until, like, the last few months, I've been changing my habits, you know, through these last few months of 2021 to slip at the last moment. Well, I'm going to say really these last few weeks, you know, the change was slow throughout the last few months, but throughout the last few weeks, I've gotten too far in my mental development from a lot of stuff to slip. So I'm just gonna teach myself good habits, get back into it off camera. The new chapter when I come back in 2022 with uh, part two of chapter two, it's not gonna be this way. I'm gonna give myself more stuff to work with as far as, you know, upgrading the equipment, the tech, you know, filming a lot more, getting a lot more B-roll, just making sure that you guys really get the best of chapter two. You guys are gonna get my work ethic, what I'm doing, you guys are gonna get it this time. You guys got the mental part, you guys got the change now. I got to go deeper. And this show is gonna help me. We're, we're tearing down the wall. We come too far, we've learned too much, we've done so much mentally, spiritually. We're battling a lot. We have to get somewhere. Everything that you were questioning will be explained in the very next episode. Beep.